Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you all are having a beautiful weekend and a great Sunday ahead of you. Today, I wanted to create this video to share with you stock news updates on various companies I believe are positioned to appreciate with its share price given that positive news will be coming and that the share price will start appreciating upward. Now, the first company I wanted to share with you is Inovio Pharmaceuticals, ticker INO. I've been talking about this company for over a year now, and although we've seen the share price catapult all the way up to $35, current price range is at around the $8. However, it hasn't had its bullish moments in the recent months, and I firmly believe that coming in the next few months, that Inovio Pharmaceuticals is going to be positioned to start scaling upward and we'll start seeing positive trends with its share price going up. Now, this company has a COVID-19 vaccine that's actually in clinical trials right now, as well as trying to get regulatory approval in various international countries. We've seen countries in like Mexico, as well as other countries gaining respect and trust with the DNA vaccine portfolio. And that's why Novio Pharmaceuticals is positioned to do well with its INO 4800, as well as its vaccines for glioblastoma, dysplasia, MERS, Zika, and a number of different disease states. In fact, the company has about 15 DNA vaccines. And with its INO 4800 that's gaining traction, I firmly believe that people will start looking for various types of vaccines, not just RNA-based or vector viral-based, but also different unique vaccines that's more stable than the current ones that are under emergency use authorizations, such as DNA vaccine therapy. From a share price standpoint, I definitely think that coming into the year 2022, we shall see that the share price will start gaining support level at the uh, double digit share price range and start catapulting back up to the $20, $30 range. So that's my key takeaway with Inovio Pharmaceuticals. And when you invest in biotech, you just have to buy and hold and really just sit back and remain patient because once you start making decisions, whether you wanna reallocate elsewhere, then you can potentially lose on the value that this company is going to bring. And it's hard to predict when that time is coming because when it comes to investing, it's really hard to time the market. And that's why when you believe in a specific company like INO in terms of what this company does and how it can add value to society, then it will gain on market share. So that's that with Inovio Pharmaceuticals. And now I'm going to pivot over to iBio, ticker IBIO. This is a biotechnology company that's headquartered in Texas. In fact, they're branching out to the central hub of biotech and that's in the San Diego area as well. iBio is a biotechnology company that leverages plant-based technology using its proprietary fast farm technology to produce vaccines for swine flu, fibrosis. In fact, they even have vaccines that's in preclinical trials intended for COVID-19. And can you imagine how different that would be if you can start taking vaccines that uses plant-based material? That's just huge. And the fact that iBio has partnered up with Texas A&M for its research studies, I have firm belief that this company is positioned for long-term success given that Tom Ice at the CEO has assembled a solid team bringing in experienced board of directors coming from large-scale companies that we know of and that's why i firmly believe that i buy where the current share price is right now is definitely undervalued with all of the news priced in as we are all aware but i'm sure heading into the year 2022 we shall start seeing the share price appreciate at a faster rate than what we've seen in the year 2021 in fact early 2020 we saw that the share price back in June, July timeframe, it catapulted up to like $7 within a matter of days. And that's huge because I firmly believe that iBio will start gaining traction even though we've been seeing downward pullback. And it's really just gonna be a random walk down on Wall Street and we'll, we'll start seeing positive trends coming for iBio. Share price standpoint wise, I would say that come in the year 2022, we shall start seeing 
the support level hit the $3 and reach up to the $5 range from my perspective. So that's my key takeaway with iBio. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is Sky Bioscience, ticker SKYE. What's so unique about Sky, right? Well, this is a biotechnology company that leverages cannabinoids. In fact, they bioengineered their product using proprietary technology where they've designed a product that will reduce intraocular pressure in the eyes of patients. In fact, with their data with preclinical trials, it has demonstrated superior reduction in reducing IOP hypertension values in rabbits. And that's huge because commercially available drugs right now, such as latanoprost and Ropressor, cannot even reduce IOP levels down to the level that Sky Bioscience has demonstrated based on its data. Now, in fact, the company will be sharing data on neuroprotective effects with its THC VHS product portfolio. And of all the current drugs in the market right now, there is no drug that has an intended use claim for neuroprotection. We know that about a third of patients in the United States as well as the whole entire world have normal IOP levels, but can still develop glaucoma. And this is why neuroprotection can be a game changer. And from a share price standpoint, the ticker share price previously ran all the way up to 26 cents where it currently is right now at the 11, 12 cents. I definitely think it's undervalued because come October 12th, when the company has its special meeting, we shall see very exciting news on the strategic direction of the company in terms of its THC VHS program, CBD VHS program, as well as potentially having data for neuroprotection. And we know that the big news for initiating human clinical trials in Australia with 62 patients, that's going to be huge and it's going to be a great milestone achievement for this company from my perspective. So overall, good times are coming for Sky Bioscience and I definitely think that it's going to catapult up beyond the $1 share price range, whether it's this year or the following year of 2022. So let's not lose sight of this high quality company in the biotech sector, making breakthrough technology to combat ocular disease. Next ticker I want to, sh to share with you is Interscope Hearing Technologies, ticker INND. What's so unique about INND? Well, this is a medical device company that's based out in Roseville, California, where they design and manufacturing hearing aids intended for patients with hearing problems. What I like so much is the fact that not only is the price of its products half the cost of its competitors, such as Ear, it's actually established an e-commerce business where you can purchase your product on Amazon or Walmart. In fact, you can actually go to like different grocery stores that's soon rolling out into all the United States because we start seeing kiosks being established and it's in operation now in states like Iowa and other states right now. And it's huge because we want to test to see whether we can benefit from this product and it's just a great strategic move by the company led by CEO Matthew Moore and the fact that the marketing is beginning to pick up. In fact, if you walk down New York, down at the Times Square, you'll see INND pop up on the visuals right now. So that's huge as well as having marketing schemes going on on TV such as Fox News. So that's how you can gain exposure with the company. And from a share price standpoint, we know that it previously ran all the way up to nine cents in the early year of 2021 and it's been just on a downward trend however what goes down will start catapulting up because we're beginning to see the otc market gain traction and i'll share with you a next company stock that has demonstrated success and that's tggi which is the last ticker i wanted to share with you i mean i got in this company at like double zero eight cents and now it's like hovering at the two cents and the question is, will it continue to trend up? I think that it can possibly break the five cents range. However, let's say if you got in early, I would recommend taking the positive proceeds and capitalizing on the profit gains. So it's nice to see a company like TGGI go from like very low points and now just catapulting up. And that's why it's showing that the OTC market is beginning to gain traction and we're beginning to see confidence pick up 
while different markets like cryptocurrency has been taking a hit and that's why I think that OTC market as well as biotech is going to start gaining traction in the remaining months of 2021 as well as getting into the year 2022 because Q1 usually is like the best time of the year when it comes to investing in stocks based on historical data. So that just summarizes my key takeaways I wanted to share with you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's say if you're new to this channel, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe to All I See Is W for more related content. Thank you so much. You all have a great Sunday. Goodbye all.